Hey guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can add or create a sales invoice on Less Accounting. To issue an invoice from Less Accounting, you can go through left hand side uh, bar and click on sales and there is invoices section. Or if you are on your dashboard, there is quick link on right side called invoices. You will be dropped to the same section as under sales. Here at the top, you have create invoice button. Click on it and you will be brought to a template which need to be filled in. So here is our invoice template. So invoice number is provided at the top and it is in draft status at the moment. Logo can be changed and address can be changed. You can add a new contact by clicking on new contact and you can fill in details, click save contact and it will be picked up as a new contact for this invoice. Otherwise, just select your contact from your contact list. Due date, you need to work backwards. So it defaults today's date and give seven days payment terms as per my payment terms and conditions. Okay, my due date I will select 22nd. Reference number is the same as invoice number, but if you want to change it, you can do it here easily. Okay, notes section. Here you can add any additional notes, for example, if this relates to a particular project, so it's easier for you to manage, or you can add any other notes if required. Next section is the main body of in invoice, which will calculate a total price um, by lines and then at the bottom as a total what would be due for this customer to pay to you. So let's add first item. So I will have a product number one, add price, so 100 and add quantity. You can change it if required. So for example, I have three items and I'm selling uh, this product one and I can provide more details like your color size. Maybe uh, if I'm selling in packs of five or 10, I can provide this information here. Also, I can add another line by clicking add new item. And here, for example, it's service line, service one, and I provide service for 50 pounds and I can add maybe a date range. This service will be covered to this customer or I will provide in this particular period, maybe quarter or even uh, for whole year. If you do not need second line, uh, then to delete, go above this bin, which changes color to red and you can delete that line on right hand side we have settings section where we can add tax we can change currency if required and we can create a new template um, or select from the template which i have available so in my case i have two templates for invoice and proposal so i'm selecting invoice but you can create new template by clicking on new template fill in details save template and then you will be able to select from drop down list then review and send invoice you will be brought into next um, section and here you can email attachment if you haven't provided email address you will be able to add it uh, here or you can provide even more email addresses and send out to multiple people at one time also we can pdf download or print as a pdf this invoice and mark a send and don't actually email it another note final step here is to select an invoice date so my uh, due date was 22nd so invoice date is i'm taking seven days backwards if you have selected template and in your template you have provided email text and subject this will show up here otherwise it will be blank and you will just need to fill in details manually every time when you try to send email out okay click send and this invoice has been sent out now if i click on three dots i can edit this invoice and delete this invoice so in this episode, I showed you how you can issue or create sales invoice on less accounting. Also, I have shared the links in description section below to my complete less accounting tutorial, as well as review of this accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.